Music has always been so integrated into my life, especially as a kid, um, singing all the time and being driven to piano and violin lessons. Um, but now, I, as an adult and having chosen it as a path, I realize that for me the heart of it is this exchange of energy between people, just engaging with people in this very unique way um, that is so magical and so incomparable with other art forms and other ways of being. Terry Allard here, catching up with Sue Slezak, a songwriter, musician, wife, mother, and co-founder of the indie folk band David Wax Museum. Hang with us as she talks about her debut solo album, life on the road with her young family, and how she balances it all while living with manic depression. Come on. I didn't like start out intending to be an advocate for mental health, but I think when you experience something, finally see it as something that other people deal with and finally accept it, right? Um, then I feel like it seems like this obvious next step to maybe help other people try to accept it too, because it is way less scary to accept it and name it versus only living it, because living it is painful. My natural brain is not actually that normal. It goes super low, it goes super high. I can't do my life. I can't make quilts that I wanna make. I can't make records that I wanna make. I can't be a, a participate in partnership or in taking care of my home or my children. And so it is more natural for me to take medicines and find that st stability. When we had the fortune of stopping touring for the pandemic and it was of course like shattering to see all your gigs for the year canceled like that but then to have this gift of being home meant all this new time and space and energy that we had you know put into touring for so many years now kind of open to us and available to us and i finally wrote these songs about the hardest things it feels like, you know, it's a cliche to, you know, say, oh, art can transform pain, but art does transform pain. This album tackles some of the most challenging things I've experienced, having a bipolar brain, being close to a, someone who died of suicide in high school, um, and giving birth, which there just aren't that many songs about giving birth. <laughs> and. So for me to dig into those things felt so important. And I hope people can hear those stories in the songs, but also not knowing them is okay too. David and I met through music and, you know, we played in a band together for years before we uh, became partners. And I think now that we're ad adults and seeing seeing the world around us, I realize that it's quite rare um, to have two people who are so intricately linked with their work, their creativity, their parenting, their running a business. I mean, I couldn't do it without him, and now I'm realizing he couldn't do it without me, and that's been a really nice thing to finally come to. I knew from, you know, I feel like barely out of my teens that I wanted my life to feel integrated and connected. I wanted my job and my kids to feel like one thing and my life to feel like one, not these different boxes. And of course, now that we're actually touring with kids, I realize, oh, it might be nice to sometimes have the kids in their own box and um, be able to do our touring thing uh, without nursing in a car seat um, in the back of a van when I'm trying to prepare for a show. But I wouldn't trade it, of course, and it's been oh, so profound to kind of fulfill this idea that I had as a, as a youngster and see it play out now.
Thank you.